Hi, I'm Seth with Land the House. Let's check out the Tac Life tape measure with laser. Let's open up the box here and see what's inside. I've actually been using this measure for about a week just to give it a test. And it has worked out well. I've also been using Tac Life products for well over a year and have really enjoyed them. Tape measure itself, have a little warranty card gives you information on uh, return up to six months uh, for factory issues. Instruction manual just gives you the uh, how-to of all of the operation functions. Little screwdriver also comes with some AAA batteries. To get to the AAA batteries, you have to use a screwdriver back here to open this little door, and uh, there you have it. Pretty simple just to get those installed. All right, let's check out some functions here. It has a wrist strap and it is permanently attached. So if you don't want a wrist strap, you'd have to cut that out to remove it. it has the tape measure function, which is just pretty typical tape measure. You can push your button for lock, put that out, bring it back in like that. One thing I really appreciate about this is how the end of the measure is adjustable. That means that if I'm measuring from this direction, it will measure the end here. If I'm measuring flat against something, it moves in so you can continue to measure properly there. It has a clip on the back, nice and sturdy clip. And now to move on to, oh, one more thing. There's a magnet here on the front so we'll test that out here in just a bit the laser itself you can see has the place where it reads and then the laser light to turn the unit on you push this orange read button once and it is now on so if I just push this quickly here it will give a very quick reading if I hold it down it does a constant reading. So as I move my uh, measurement option away, it will adjust like that. It also has the option to change your units here. So I can push this and it will either measure from the back of the tape measure or the front. I'm not sure if you can see, there's a little indicator right here that adjusts from front to back. If I hold the unit button down, it will change. So here we have fractions. Here we have inches. We have feet. Have meters. Another meters section. It just moves your decimal over some. And then back to inches. To turn the unit off, you hold down both the read and the unit buttons and it turns off. Now that we've checked out the basic features, let's go ahead and give this a test. Let's test out just the tape feature of it first. Let's go ahead and stretch this out over my bench. Looks like we are at 50 and a half inch down here. I'm gonna use this other brand and give it a try. Yep, same deal, 50 and a half inch. I placed a wooden block down here so I can use the laser feature on the block. And let's move the adjustment point to the front of the tape measure. Okay. And I'm gonna hold this flat against my surface and just push that read button there. All right, so my display here, if you can see it, says 50.7. So the 50 and a half that I was getting is a little bit different. And it may be because I'm reading just a touch further away than the tape was and my block may be offset just a touch. Here's an example of how the end of the tape measure adjusts. So it comes out there or goes in there. I have a metal clamp set up here to show you just how powerful the magnet is. So it's a very strong magnet. And if I were to hold the tape measure here and push the button down, See how it's gonna keep it uh, 
attached there until I move off to the side. The magnet's on both this side and this side. Perhaps another side use for the magnet is if you were to drop a fastener into a hole, you could just use your tape measure to pick that up, which would be uh, pretty handy. Let's take this piece here and see what kind of measurements we get between. So if I were to come in here, let's just say towards the bottom, and take a measurement with my tape. It is 16 and 1 8 inch. So now let's use the laser in here to find what it says between the two. So I'm going to just turn it on, and then I want to make sure I push my reed from the back of the tape measure. So I can come in here and I'll push the reed button. Alright, so it's saying exactly 16 inches with the, uh, the laser there. So let's just check it one more time. Maybe come up a touch. Yeah, I'm still getting uh, a little bit more with the tape. Now in the instruction manual, there's a way to calibrate this unit um, plus or minus nine millimeters. So you can actually adjust in a way that will allow you to compensate if it is reading wrong with the laser. The tape is five meter, which is 16 foot, and the laser indicates that it can go 40 meters. Now the tape itself actually is double sided. So if you look on the bottom here, you can see both metric and imperial. And then you flip it over and you have the same thing here on the other side. I've used a number of Tac Life products in the past and they seem to be a decent quality. I've definitely enjoyed working with them. I'm not sure how long the batteries last on a unit like this. It does recommend that if you're going to store it for a while, pull the batteries out to help prevent corrosion, which is pretty typical with electronics. I have also not done a drop test on this unit. I tend to be rather cautious with my tools, so I don't drop them very often. But uh, it is rubber coated, and so I think it would withstand a number of drops. Uh, as far as the laser system goes, I'm not exactly sure, but the unit seems to be of quality. Really the only downside that I find of the whole unit is not being able to remove the strap so that you can put it back later. Uh, all they would have had to have done is, instead of going straight through, just having it loop in there, but uh, it is what it is. So if you want to check out the TAC Life tape measure with laser system, I have a link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.